if you are a collector of pot parachas and you really want something that is extremely uncommon. Now, paparacha can range 80, 20 in either direction. It can be 80% orange, 20% pink. It can be 80% pink, 20% orange. It can be 70, 30. They're all paparachas and they're all extremely rare. But every once in a while, Mother Nature creates something that is so uncommon. It is the perfect definition of a split. This particular stone is one of the finest examples of Padparacha, period. You just don't find a better color than this. This stone is so intertwined with the pink and orange, it creates this nominal, it creates almost this phenomenal effect of color that is so attractive to the eye, it is quite remarkable. Now, what's even more special is the majority of these stones predominantly come out of Sri Lanka. They always do. But this does, this stone actually coming out of Madagascar. I've had this stone for a very long time, back to the time when Ilakaka was new. When Ilakaka, the mine in Madagascar, came to market, I was down there trying to buy all the rare colors, whether it was violet, whether it was purple, whether it was vivid pinks. This was a new discovery in Africa at the time, and we literally saw a village go from 200 people to 10,000 people in a matter of weeks. It was really quite wild. It was almost like the gold rush in California back in the day. But there are very few stones in the world that have this particular color. You know, a lot of people can refer to it as like the lotus color, but I can tell you right now, this is just the perfect resemblance of Padparacha and the hardest color to see, period. Now, some people prefer more pink, some people prefer more orange, but I'm telling you, if you want it straight down the middle, this is one of the most complicated, most difficult colors to ever find. And if you're a purist of gemstones, it's fully certified, unheated. But when you see this, you'll know what I'm talking about. When you put this or get this at home, you'll see a color you have never seen before, even if you are one of the largest collectors of Padparacha. I buy Padparachas on a regular basis. I move anywhere between three to 400 kilos of just sapphire and another couple hundred kilos of rubies every month in rough material to be sold all over the world. But paparachas of this color and this quality are extremely rare. They're very hard to put a price on them because they're just impossible to replace them. So if you came to me and said, I'll give you 25,000 a carat to find me a paparacha like this, I wouldn't even know where to start because it's really one in a hundred million sapphires that are discovered. So very uncommon, not something we see a lot of. Cat has taken a three odd carat and she's cut it to a perfect 2.07, closing any windows, bringing out the dispersion, bringing out the fire. She has also surrounded it with a massive mount. I mean, this is just insanity. Look at those large pear-shaped deep flawless diamonds, the perfect precision diamond cut. You know, you're talking about 49% angles in each one of those deep flawless diamonds surrounding that paparacha, just exploding with luster, the best quality diamond in the world. The paparacha is sparkling, the diamonds are popping. This is a legendary feat. So if you want the finest color in something that most people have never even seen, this is textbook something that is just uncommon and also you got a mount there that oh, I look at the mount cost and I think to myself how are we ever going to be able to make a mount like this again for the price it's going for at the Don's Club so if you're a Don's Club member you're going to win here because that paparacha is I don't even know where to get another one like it it is special it is beautiful and it is textbook super rare color